Um, so we can James Crook, perfect distance from co workers. But this is really good, I think. <laughs> we've kept the railway running throughout. We've kept goods moving, we've got key workers to key to their locations, to their to their places of work, and we've done that throughout. But that's forced us as we've gone to adapt. We've um, we found good systems of working, ways of making sure that we maintain and operate the railway while keeping our people safe. And we've all looked for lots and lots of good ways of finding solutions to make sure that we can work whilst our people are safe. We felt we needed something extra because it's easy to let down your guard, it's easy to get too close to one another and using an app such as Mind the Gap which can make sure that it warns people if they get cl too close together, if they become complacent. We think that's an important part of the solution. We use this on a voluntary basis. We're not mandating it. What we're saying to our colleagues is, here's a tool that can help keep you safe. We think it's a, a good idea. It's for you to use. We stress that Mind the Gap doesn't track anybody. What it is, it's like a continuous electronic tape measure. It measures the different distance between colleagues, yeah? But it doesn't track where they've been. It keeps no data records. It's just that continuous um, tape measure and continuous alert. My mind has conditioned itself to, if it hears that, um, to, to pay attention and move. Um, I guess with mobile phones you hear the ringtone or you hear a, a text tone, you know what it is. Well now I know what this is. Speak of the devil. That's a bit too far. I don't know, but it's working now. Stay here. So I have the app loaded right now. My colleague is just behind me. He's going to walk towards me. The apps are going to communicate to each other, and then they're going to beep. We're looking for a very specific frequency of sound being played and a very specific melody as well. So all the other noise, you know, we just completely dis disregard it. We don't even analyze that sound because it's, it's not relevant for us. We're looking for a very specific frequency and that melody. And as, once we analyze that, we're then able to understand what the distance is. You know, um, so it can work in an environment silent like this, or it can work in an environment that, you know, is quite noisy, i.e. like a, a train station or an airport or, or, or a busy office space where everyone's talking, because it's not looking for that noise. It's looking for noise that's un unaudible in a very specific frequency.
what we're trying to do with the technology is, is, is not force separation, but it's to just kind of remind us that we can still connect, uh, albeit with a little bit of a distance to ensure we're safe. Um, and we still have that kind of human, human interaction and, and we don't lull ourselves into a false sense of security either. Via 